Being to order, I invite you to join us in the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In case of fire, there are two ways that you would exit the chamber. To my left, you would exit through the council chamber doors, turn left and walk down a flight of stairs and outside of the building. The best way perhaps is to the rear, to the double doors, and in either case, once you're outside of the building, please get a safe way, a safe distance away from the building. Uh, will the second vice please take the roll? Chairman Duran. Here. Uh, Vice Chair Elizabeth Ballard. Secretary Peter Falk. Second Vice Chair Kathleen Sarno. Here. Commissioner Lori Longhi. Here. Commissioner Nick Lefakis. Here. Commissioner Charles Ladd. Here. Commissioner Ronald Gregory. Here. Commissioner Alan Drynan. Commissioner Dominic Alimo. Here. Commissioner Ron Gregory will be sitting in for the absent commissioner and Don, Dominic Alimo for Liz Ballard until she attends. Uh, uh, the chair will entertain a motion to amend the agenda. I'd like to make a motion that we amend the agenda and um, take the applications to be received um, as item number four and move the executive session to item number five. Second. And change the numbers. And change the numbers to correspond with that. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing that all in favor? Opposed, it's unanimous. Uh, let's see. Applications to be received. Special permit, freestanding signs. Uh, JFK, leaders for the future. The motion would be to place that on the agenda this evening. I'll make a motion to place that on the agenda for this evening. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous. It's on the agenda this evening. Okay, text amendment. Jose, A frame signs under limited circumstances. Yeah, uh, if it's good to go, I, I don't know. Was that the one we're supposed to get a clean copy of to you? Uh -huh. or yes. The other one? Well, I, I got a clean copy if you want to. I suggest March 7th as a. As a, as a Okay. Today we've got a pretty busy schedule coming up, as you can see from the. So it's, since this okay, is well, we'll give time for. Uh, I guess send a copy to the well, the people that were involved that were have they already? I think they were. Yeah, I think they've received copies. Of Do everything. you want to send it to the chamber? I'll definitely. I will. Okay. Uh, XZA thirteen oh three text amendment defines standards for accessory apartments. You want that March seventh also? Is just a yeah. I think that was good to go last time. Uh -huh. Okay, I think fine. You guys were happy. There was a couple of questions that I asked the building official that I got from one of the commissioners. So, so it'll give you time to have that check. And and with all of our applications, we're not we're not under any deadline to, to act on, on our so, own, right? So because this is our own yeah. okay application. So, and public hearing twenty seven seventy six uh, Thomasville Fire Department. Uh, What's the earliest that we aren't, well, we haven't had anything. Can they ready to go? They've got variances. They've had the ART reviews. Uh, they got everything in. So uh, I believe they're, they're on a fairly tight time frame. I was trying to get them on the 21st. They're ready to go. All right. That sounds good. I don't know. If there's nothing else on that night, right? Uh, well, down no, whatever below. you may put, uh, yeah, no, whatever else comes next. So okay. Can. Well, I wouldn't put too much on. Uh, <laughs> Because I did see some of the, uh, the inland wetlands and, and the ZBA uh, minutes on it, so I mean tapes, so it may take a while for even just a presentation. Okay, uh, the next, the restaurant with a liquor license, uh, Phoenix Avenue, that's Longhorn, uh, back again. Is it that great a change that it's going to? Well, they're 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 changing their parking lot, the way they come in and out of their park. They're adding more parking and, and, and slightly different building configurations. So, not a very big change, but it's 
what date would you suggest? You suggest I, I would say I don't, uh, March 7th. 7th also? Because we have others that, that I think have it. Okay. And uh, 2774, uh, this is the one that we heard at a discussion and after. Yeah, that's Town Fair Tire. I think there's some very minor site work going on, and uh, they've had their ART, and it's just straight change of use. You think we can take them on the 21st also? I, hate I believe we could probably do it fairly quickly on the 21st. I can put those guys ahead of the firehouse. Put them so ahead of the firehouse? So they don't have to sit around all night. Okay, well, that's what I was afraid of. All right. And uh, the photo studio at Angina Drive? Uh, I think we could also hand them, you know, first thing in the in the evening on the 21st. It's 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 just an uh, accessory uh, retail, that section that allows accessory retail uses so they can put their photo studio in there. Uh, they just bought out three on China. It used to be Precision Camera. Uh -huh. well, you They're going to have their main <coughs> office there where, where they send people out on the field and process, but they also want to have some studio space so people, you know, like right. my, my, you know, my kids went, uh, I took them up to Holyoke to get their pictures taken. They'll, they'll be able to have a studio. So since it's not a permitted use, we do allow accessory as long as it's less than 10% of the floor area. So, so it, that should be no, no big deal. Put them then too. Yeah. So right. put them in February 21st, but select uh, the order. of the two of them, whichever one you think is going to take the the least time. The put them put them first. Yeah, I, I think. Well, you're aware. You go to the least. You go to ART, so. Yeah, they all had ARTs. We will have. So you have, whichever one you think is going to. All right. I'll, 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 I'll use my judgment in, in, in putting in my... And site plan review. Um, there, that's the, 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 the regulation change you made last year to allow right. the thrift store to go over to George Washington Drive. Right. They, they've had their ART, they're ready to go. And uh, I don't know whether we can... I can stick them on with the... It's not a public hearing, so I don't have to advertise it. I can stick them on the agenda, and if we get to them, we get to them with that. On the seventh or on the twenty-first? Uh, it's up I to you. I, if you want me to put them on the twenty-first, and we and for some reason we get to them, but it's fine. But otherwise, I would say the seventh would be a better. The seventh, probably. Seventh, probably. Mm -hmm. All right. This I hear the seventh. Let's try it. I mean, I, I could ask them if they're willing to sit around on the twenty-first with a chance that they might get hurt if things go fast quickly. Um, well, go ahead, but and if not, or would they rather come in on the seventh? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a. I don't have to advertise it in the paper, so it. It looks really like matter. March seventh would be the best. I think the seventh would be the okay. best. Okay, well, I'll let them know. That okay. They just, uh, okay. Any other suggestions from any of you? No. Okay, then that looks good. Uh. Okay, now uh, the chair will entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss pending litigation. So moved. Second. Second. Oh. All in favor? And we shall return.
Back to order. Uh, executive session again was held for pending litigation with the town attorney. No votes were taken and no decisions were made. Uh, Secretary, again, please take the, uh, take the roll, or the uh, second vice, I'm sorry, Secretary's absent. Sure. Chairman Duran? Here. Vice Chair Elizabeth Ballard? Here. Secretary Peter Falk? Second Chair Kathleen Sarno? Here. Lori Longhi? Here. Commissioner Nick Lefakis? Here. Commissioner Charles Ladd? Here. Commissioner Ronald Gregory? Here. Commissioner Alan Drynan? And Commissioner Dominic Limo? Here. Commissioner Gregory will be sitting in for uh, the absent Commissioner Falk. Uh, minutes of uh, January 3rd, regular meeting. Make a motion to accept. Second. Motion's made to uh, accept. Is there any discussion, errors, additions, or omissions? Got one on page 16. 16. Paragraph 2. Find it. <laughs> 15, 16. Uh, let's see. Oh, last sentence in paragraph two uh, should be any, not and. <laughs> it says, the sentence says, uh, he is trying to accomplish having a sign that can be out there in normal business hours that won't cause and traffic accidents. Right. It should be any traffic accidents. <laughs> okay, and I had one question. It lists me as being absent, but I have discussion at the end, so I wasn't sure. On January 3rd, on the first page, it says absent, Lori Longhi. But then on page 17, it says Commissioner Longhi said, I was on the original sign committee, so I believe I was. Is that the one where you had a application? No, that was the next oh, one, the, the 17th, one? I think, because I was late on that one. Okay. Yeah, she's listed as absent on the first page. I remember that meeting with the signs, but I didn't know if I had come in late or anything, but that's why I just, I don't. That's well, not our consultant. Well, so uh, so so yeah, and I was here for that. Yep. So we'll, we'll make sure we'll uh, I'll correct it to say you were here. Okay, any further additions, errors, omissions? Not hearing none. All in favor with, as a, uh, opposed, abstention. Okay. okay, 601, January 17th meeting. Didn't see any. No, and that's the one that I was absent. <laughs> I came in late. <laughs> Motion made to accept. Second. The motion seconded. Any errors, additions, or omissions? Any. Hearing none, all in favor? Oh, opposed? I'm, I'm standing on that one. And one abstention? 601. Uh, okay, staff reports, town attorney in writing. Uh, we don't need to go through that, but the writing item here you have was what we met on. Monthly report of the zoning enforcement officer. Any questions for Jose? Jose, uh, one thing uh, I've noticed recently, maybe it's because the, the, the leaves are off the trees, uh, for the zoning enforcement, or maybe you know, across from Fermi uh, on that property, I know it's, uh, I guess, farm property, there's piles of uh, logs, and, and uh, apparently from the year ago storm or I don't know where they come from guy's got a business here That's and trees. It, it's uh, is, does he but the, uh, they've been laying there for quite a while I haven't seen anything else going well, on doesn't cut them a lot he just cuts them. <laughs> is that something that we had a business going there I'll, I'll check into it but I remember about 
a year and a half ago, I brought that up, and Jenny looked at it, and he had a business here. Oh, because, I mean, it's really, they're scattered all over behind yeah, well, the trees, and I thought it looks like... Maybe he should be in the it. next report, the blight report. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I just noticed it probably because the leaves are off. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, right. Any questions for Jose? Jose, on the uh, automobile uh, used car dealers moving down the old Chrysler dealership, ship, is that moving? I believe it is. I think Jenny's still, we're going to go ahead and s s uh, issue the notice of violation just, just to cover ourselves. Because I know that they, they were they were having a closing and, 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 they, and we, they submitted their paperwork for DMV because we had okay. to sign off on it. And, and on... But uh, in any case, we, we should probably... 518, 5 Put it on record that there's that number of cars is not a in case someone oh, else buys that part. Really, I mean, oh yeah, he's jammed up there. Right. On 518 and 519, I've never seen the trucks not there. That's CVS. Really? They may, may move them from one spot to another, but I've never seen them not on the property. But. And I see on 587 we have uh, ducks, and I saw another place there were chickens, and we still have no uh, proposal. And we've got to do something for these people. Not that I want to have chickens. I couldn't take care of them, but... Okay. Any questions further for the uh, zoning enforcement officer? Uh -uh. Or for Jose? Again, it's a good report. It's clear and concise. And you've added the property maintenance report. That's great. Uh -huh. Very good. What, what I'll probably be doing instead of print, because there's a lot of closed ones. So I, th I think what I'm going to be doing next month is, uh, unless you want to just keep, you know, just to save paper, just keep the open ones and anything that's been progress on. Can you do that? I, uh, by well, I had I had to reformat their report. <coughs> uh, I mean, this this report was available on SharePoint. What I did is I imported it into an Excel spreadsheet, so I could. It's my it's my Excel spreadsheet that I update every month for you guys. So, so if it's closed, what do we need it for then, really? Pardon? If well, it's closed, yeah. we don't really need right. it. Right. I, I figured I'd just a few times just to, so, so you could see. Yeah. What, so what we was, could see that it went from that open to closed. There was some close. issues there, but there's there's some that are still open. Uh, that it, citations have been issued and 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 there's a, and there might have been a hearing on it. So I'll I'll, I'll keep those. I'll see which ones I can how get many rid they, of. So we, we don't have so much paper. How many they got working this? It, it looks like they really well. They got Sergeant Santanella. Huh? Sergeant Santanella uh, is uh, uh, w w Bob Santanella, the, our, our former traffic safety right. officer, is now uh, working on the blight. Uh, Team, uh, that's one. Per they had two people working, and I believe uh, uh, there's going to be another person part time that's going to come on board when the grass starts growing. Well, I say they're really. <laughs> that's when we tend to get the big. They're ones really on, on 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 things. They've gone from 200 open cases down to about 30 something. But still, it's it's a lot of. They've got they've got a lot of. Good, they, they they have done a good lot of good work. To How do you reach them if you want to talk to one of them? There's two, there's two methods. I, th I think there's a phone. There's a phone number for. You want to call Jimmy? Yeah. But see, on the School Street one, he's got a guy's name there, and, and I know uh, yeah. Freddie Mac owns it. So whose name is this? Well, Freddie it says no mortgage in the guy's name. <laughs> Sergeant Santanel, you can either contact him on the phone. I can get or, or I mean, C Click Fix will get a, a report if you know how to use that. Yeah, the Quick Fix. The C Click Fix on the computer will. Uh, yeah. Well, I'd like to speak to him directly, but how do I reach him? Do you have a number He's for here him? part time. I, I don't have his number here, um, but I, I can get it to you. Yeah. Okay, that would be good. And I don't Thank have you. it handy. And he's here like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, he's here part time, so you can, you, he can be reached. Well, they're really they're really out there. That's good. Okay, going on, we're on the director of planning. A couple, just a couple of quick things I want to just remind everyone and. Uh, I sent everyone an agenda, a PDF file. I also printed it out, the meeting on Monday regarding the plan of conservation development. Sent it out to various boards and commissions and, and staff people uh, 
for any possible comment. Um, I think we're going to have ETV here also, so uh, so people, so citizens can be informed as, as to what's going on. Um, what I did, just to explain my chart, that's just my personal view of what, what I think has been finished, what things are in progress, some things like Higgins and Strand. Well, the Higgins is, looks like it's been done, but the Strand not yet, so that's in yellow. Uh, the, the red is what things I, I, I don't think if any we've seen any action on yet. So, um, so we can either tweak that and or perhaps discuss which which items that remain to be done. Are the should we concentrate on the coming year and then next year? Do the same well, it's not yeah. a, just us because some was assigned to other right. boards. And I know. have sent it out to different people and, and said if they can't make it to try at least get me written okay. comments. So uh, that'll be uh, on Monday. Also, just the 23rd on a on a Saturday morning at 9 o'clock at the Village Center uh, from 9 to noon will be uh, the forum on the, on, on the future Thompsonville zoning. Uh, the plan is to have a couple of dial -a ride buses at 9 o'clock, do some quick tours, have people point out things they like and they don't like or what they don't like. And uh, Will you send out memos on these yep, dates, I, I just got a, a slide from the consultant for publicity slide, and that's my next uh, thing is to get those out, of, get it on ETV, get it to the newspapers, get it uh, as much publicity as possible to the libraries and, uh, and, uh, and do that. So please put that on your calendar. Um, <laughs> as coming up. Uh, the other thing, last, last April, if you recall, we had a, an amendment, and I'm just going to pass it out. Um, uh, and, I, and I went back and looked at the minutes, and, 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 and I, I gotta, at that time, if you recall, when we had that whole controversy about decks and coverage, and we were going to try to come up with some kind of uh, total coverage definition and regulation for a residential zone that would include decks. That, because we don't have any impervious coverage. Oh, that's so you, what we've you, been you talking can about, right? Develop the 100% of your lot. You're right. So I, I have, you know, going back on my notes, I, 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 I put together a draft. I, it's not for discussion tonight, but I, I hope to put it on the next agenda for discussion. Okay, put it on. If you can, I'll pass it out. That way, you guys can take a look at it. And uh, yeah, put that on the items for discussion. And keep it there until we clear that up too. Twenty-third will be nine o'clock at the Village Center on High Street. Okay. One hundred High Street. Yeah, the old church where the where the community development and um, and the social <laughs> services are currently located. So. I don't even know what that is. It'll be in the meeting in the community room there. So a good chance for people to have some input into what they think the zoning ought to be done in, in Thompsonville. So uh, please take a look at that, and uh, I'll put it up for discussion, and uh, then we can decide what we want to do with that. Okay. Um, uh, the other thing I'd been asked to look at, and I've been uh, running it through a town attorney I might have on you for the next uh, agenda, is, uh, as you know, we, we have a lot of requests for what we, what we call special events, and we don't really have good standards for them. So the, the, I was asked to to see if there was something, some way we could sort of formalize what we've been doing in terms of holding special events when they have to come in before the Planning and Zoning Commission. What are so, the special events? Do we know? Or what yeah, the, the, you, the, 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 car, the, the car shows. Oh, shows. Oh, the Sometimes the credit union wants to have a fundraiser, uh, 75th anniversary of something or other. Um, when I was in Westport 30 years ago, they had a, a, a fairly good regulation, so I went back and they still got it. Um, where certain events were allowed, um, one-day events were allowed to, to occur if they met certain things just by administrative permit. If it was more than one day, it had to go before the Planning and Zoning Commission. So longer, uh, basically a lot of what we do now, because right now we make everyone come in uh, uh, basically under a site plan amendment <coughs> to, to do this without really, the regulations are silent on it. Um, and, and then we say if Next year they don't have to come back if they just. Yeah, if they, it. But there's nothing in the regs that that, that sort change. of. Okay. So, so that's the procedure. So do you so. have this one? Can you give it to us to look at it? So we yeah, can... I'll, I'll email it to you. I I, I got it down to the town <coughs> attorneys to take a look at the. the I think because they, they already gave me back feed, feedback. I just gave basically we rely on the police, fire, and. And I think that has that in there. It, that yeah. if they get fire, police, and they meet certain standards. And know, the health department because we had, well, the one down on. I guess the school had 
Right. That so, way people people won't be coming in the last minute not knowing that what they need to do or what they don't need to right, do. Right. I think there were some issues while I was in vacation last year that, that came up. That, that Okay. So I'll, I'll get that to you also. All righty. Good. Any uh, questions for, for the Jose? At this point in the meeting, Planning and Zoning Commission welcomes comments, concerns, and opinions relating to planning and zoning in Enfield from anyone who is present, provided no one may discuss any matter of business that at this time is already elsewhere on the agenda. agenda. Any matter that's part of an open public hearing of the Commission or any matter where a decision of the Commission may be pending. Is there anyone would like to address the Commission? Anyone would like to address the commission? Last call to address the commission at this point. Okay, we'll move on. Correspondence, you had some on the table. Uh, Connecticut Federation of Planning and Zoning Agencies, uh, AquaTurf, March 14th. Uh, put it in your date book and... Yeah, let me know if you want to go. Um, it's not a meeting night, so if... <coughs> I'll be going, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Ron, Charlie, and, and Liz. Well, I think I this year I get the award. All right. <laughs> you got an award coming this year? I think he does, yeah. All right. Which I, I think <laughs> he's certainly been here long enough. Uh, that's what it is. 75 years. That's more like 50. Okay. Uh, then on the table you also had from uh, information from Capital Region. And in your book you had from Capital Region, and you notice that uh, we've cleared, although we don't have the letters yet. Or we sent the stuff uh, down. They, they just acknowledge that they received it. They don't. Okay. They, they, they will send letters. And uh, so the zoning map regulations and A-frame signs and so forth is all taken care of. You have minutes from the Zoning Board of Appeals. And I don't know if we had wetlands this time. No. No, I think they just met Tuesday. So yeah. that's... Also on the Connecticut Federation of uh, Planning and Zoning Agencies, uh, you might want to, or probably did, uh, on page two, the re revocation of zoning permit as an enforcement tool. That could be something that uh, was interesting that has been used or could be used at states. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one is on page uh, three is a personal relationship between applicants attorney and a board member so it's uh, another thing to think of when you're sitting in, on a hearing those are pretty good quick uh, little information papers right i think the, the key to that and in, 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 in the town is you know it does say that an attorney that is your business and personal attorney for the board member probably is you have a conflict if they're representing an applicant before the commission so the other one I saw too, towns that happens a lot before you know and we've, white. we've always carried this abstention is not a vote I see yes yeah. yeah, so in, in case in case in cases where the, the statutes specifically require a number I think in the past we've had the town attorney say well does an abstention count to go you know with the majority or yeah. right. but I think we've if, always if the that's what we've been you told need four votes to get a variance you need four votes to get a variance right three, three votes and an abstention does not automatically um, make that a, a fourth vote um, because otherwise but nothing requires here except right. a majority vote so an uh, abstention wouldn't there, count. there's cases when you need uh, when there's a petition filed to protesting a zone change with two-thirds of a vote oh, two all right and for yeah. waivers of subdivision yeah. three-quarters of a vote and yeah. I think certain other things there are there would be areas there are times up. when when a percentage is is, ne is needed and in those cases you know I think the issues come up in the past whether so or not a couple interesting extension is, is considered to vote for it but I think what that case reiterates is that that if, if the statute specifically say you need four votes you need four votes that's it's, it's yeah, plain English it's that yeah. paper has some nice little short yep. good information uh, commissioners correspondence there's nothing in there uh, I guess there, there were with that magazines and so forth uh, any anything for Jose no. nothing you've been around town and nothing no problems huh? okay
bond releases? There are none. Actually, yes, there is, Charlie. Okay, hold on, um, hold on then. We just came by on Middle Road, and uh, guy's whole front yard is paved. <laughs> I think it's that um, re rehab thing. Well, yeah, that's it, 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 it's it's something, but I, I think that's we're gonna try to keep. <laughs> We, we don't it, care. No, no. <laughs> uh, well, hey, we don't have impervious coverage. That's why we for, talked about that. And okay. see, for, I told and you I it think could that, 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 we, that's a, that's you know, a, that is a, a, a state um, for, for, okay. for protection of people to, that I drive are drive by and look at it and go, wow. So the, I think they're trying to keep low key. On the, oh, is that the old Smith Farm building? I don't know which one it is, but yeah. it's huh? got two curb cuts in the whole okay. front. Yes. All right. Well, let's okay. we, we can discuss that later. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, move along then. Okie doke. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. So. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, bond, uh, bond back down. Bond releases. There are none. Will the uh, second vice please uh, read the legal notice and uh, take the roll? XSA, it's a special permit for freestanding sign. You can take the roll call first. Whichever. Okay. Um, Chairman Charles Duran. Here. Vice Chair Elizabeth Ballard. Here. Secretary Peter Falk. Second Vice Chair Kathleen Sarno. Here. Commissioner Lori Longhi. Here. Commissioner Nick Lafakis. Here. Commissioner Charles Ladd. Here. Commissioner Ronald Gregory. Here. Commissioner Alan Drynan. And Commissioner Dominic Alimo. Again, uh, Commissioner, uh, Mr. Gregory will be sitting in for absent Commissioner Falk. Uh, the applicants are all out there in green shirts. It's you're up. The, the uh, Enfield Planning and Zoning Commission will be holding a public hearing on Thursday, February 7th, 2013, beginning at 7 p.m. in the Town Hall Town Council Chambers, 820 Enfield Street. XSA 13-01 yep. special permit for a freestanding sign exceeding 12 square feet in a residential district to allow a 30 square feet sign for the JFK Middle School at 155 Raffia Road in R88 district map 68 lot 149 JFK leaders for the future applicants town of Enfield is the owner dated this 26th day of January 2013 if anyone's going to speak that is not sitting at the table, you're going to have to use this microphone uh, so we won't pick you up. If on your it. girls will, or and gentlemen will pull, pull up chairs, just have a seat. Don't need to stand. Let's move them up. I guess they're all going to take part. Sure. Now I'm going to ask you if uh, the applicants, if you will, introduce yourselves by your name and address and please give your, because this is a legal meeting, uh, name and address. Hi, I'm Jacob and I'm at 5 Grand Street. Uh, last name to? Oh, Jacob name Ondette at 5 Grand Street. Thank you. My name is Carly Flanagan and I'm at 2 Indian Run. My name is Alyssa Whitney and I'm at 12 Rolling Street. My name is Paige Teacher and I'm at 13 Windmill Road. It'll pick you up. You don't <laughs> no, have to get yeah, you. Just, just talk loudly. My name is Tori Jigalon and I'm at 13 Sparkle Street. My name is Angelique Beiser and I'm at 10 Manor Court. Okay. okay. Like I said, you don't need Thank to. You. you don't need to put the microphone around. It'll, it'll Do you produce. have the handheld for them too? Yeah, sure. Here, if anybody wants to. That will be easy. Then you just leave that yeah. out there, or the, we'll have the town council <laughs> after us. <laughs> okay, now, uh, people, if you will, is tell us what your project is and uh, explain it to us. Um, we're with the Leadership Academy at John F. Kennedy Middle School, and we had to pick a service project, so we decided to build a school sign. Um. Uh, 
Um, the reason for creating the sign is, uh, number one, all Enfield Public Schools, uh, except ours, have a school sign out front displaying uh, what the school name is. Another reason why we wanted to create a school sign was to make the students feel like they're a part of a family and to help people know who we are because there's been multiple people who have driven by JFK and not known what the building was. And lastly, we wanted to make a, a school impact that would stay with the school forever because a school sign is something that each student will recognize like knowing like that was our school. Um, my slide is called Creating the Sign and in the beginning we came up with multiple ideas for the sign and we couldn't come up with like one that we all liked so we found a compromise and then over time we narrowed it down to two signs one with an LED sign and one with out but the final decision became the sign without the LED light we chose not to have the LED light because of like the cost and we called many sign companies like the Sign Connection, Lassard Builders, and Galley Signs, which you will now. I called Galley Signs and their quote was $1,820. We had our dimensions were 8.72 inches by 56.15 five, five, inches. Um, this right here will be part of the sign and it will be our mascot logo. It's different than this one. Oh. We called Sign Connection, we gave them the dimensions for the sign and they gave us the, these dimensions. Um, by 655, a uh, double sided color copy printed out full logo would be $1,285. And, um, a six by five cutout with two carved HDU sign, double sided with full color and logo, would be three thousand four hundred eighty-five dollars. No matter which one we choose, the installation for both of these would be three hundred twenty-five dollars. Now the logo that one of you showed us is that the same logo as the, that is on this sheet? Is is that no. to replace the logo that's on the sheet we have? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's fine. But this is what you're. This is what's on the top. That's what we want. Okay. Thank you. Pass that to Jose for the file. Where's the sign going to go? Or maybe they haven't finished. I don't know. Who's left? Do I have a picture of that somewhere? No. Okay. Sorry to interrupt us. We go. Have you finished? Are you are you ready for questions? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> questions for the commission for the ladies and gentlemen. The question was where on the property is the sign to be placed, I believe. Is that yeah. your question? Yeah, I think it's off front of the library. Yes, it's a, it's gonna be in front of the library and the flagpole. It's gonna be um if you see the flagpole and you look out from the library it'll be directly in front of that. Okay. Okay. They had uh Jose, you have the authorization from the town of Enfield? Yes, I do. It's on file? Yes, I do. Okay. Just don't want them to uh, run. The application itself was signed by the <coughs> town. The application form was signed by the town manager. So. And uh, there was also no problem with the public safety officer. Mm -hmm. Any further questions for these people? No. You're letting them off easy. No. <laughs> I just was kind of curious. What's your timetable for putting this? When do you expect to do the sign? They got to collect money, I guess. Or I well. don't know. What's <laughs> Around six weeks. Oh, okay. So you have the funds already? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 I saw you look back. Okay. Oh, I was hearing you. 
<laughs> Mr. Chair, I have a, one comment and one question. The comment is that I think it's a good idea because I've been by there hundreds of times and I never knew you were known as the Patriots. So that would be informing. And the other question, who's paying for the sign? We're gonna have Did you guys collect money or? Yeah, we're going to have some fundraising ideas that was going to go on. Well, who, who paid for the signs at the other schools? Who do a PT? I don't know. Was it the town? Do you know? The, the, Can we find that out? No. no. I think PTOs are PT. money in the student activity fund? There's a line item actually for it. Okay. okay just, just so if any, because nobody would have heard that. No, the, I know it. <laughs> that there's a, there's a line item out of the student activity fund was what they, they said. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Okay, so yeah, apparently uh, you've you've accepted a bid then. All right, which isn't our business anyway. Any no further questions for these people? I have one. Yes. Uh, who made the signs for like? Uh... They wouldn't know. <laughs> the other schools, I guess they were all bid separately. Yeah, I mean most of them look like they're uh, little Johns. They probably Signs. They may be. I no, don't know. No, no, like uh, Hazardville Memorial and and all those. Uh, I just be. wondered if they checked into Little John to see what his prices would be. Well, that's not our business. Oh, either. I know. Okay. Uh, anything further? I I want to commend you for doing <coughs> this. Also coming forward is sort of difficult. Uh, especially at your age, to come before us and present, make a presentation and uh, also know that you're on TV. Maybe your parents are home watching you. Uh, or you're, All I'm your sure friends you'll are be watching. hits tomorrow <laughs> at uh, TV land. Uh, uh, we appreciate you coming in, and I think it's great that uh, you got involved in things. That I hope you keep it up as you go along in adults. We need, we need you as future leaders. Yes. Yes. I, I, I uh, also would to like to commend team. them on, on doing this. And um, I do know that you were the PH Patriots because uh, I uh, did not go to JFK but went to Kosciusko and you were our rival at the time and they were the Patriots. So I did know that. Uh, and I'm, I'm very pleased to see a sign because all our elementary schools do have nice signs in the front. And you can drive right by Kennedy and not know it unless you know it's the school. You know, you won't even know it is. So um, good job, kids, and, and uh, good luck on the sign. So Now I've got to do one more thing. So if you will vacate the seats, although this, we may have some people. Anybody in the audience would like to speak in favor or against this application? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, if you, you, you vacate, <laughs> let, the, let people, people may want to come up and talk for this. Anyone in the audience would like to talk in favor or against this application? Anyone in the audience would like to talk in favor or against this application? Last call. <laughs> to talk in favor or against this application. And I'll close, I'll close public hearing XSA 13-01. I'll make a motion to waive the full submissions requirements of section 9.10.2 because the commission finds that the information is not necessary in order to decide on the application's conformance with these regulations. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion? Seems like a good idea to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hearing none, all in favor of the waiver. It's unanimous, 700. Zero, zero. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve XSA number 13-01, a special permit for a freestanding sign exceeding 12 square feet in a residential district to allow a 30 square foot plus or minus sign for the JFK Middle School at 155 Raffia Road in an R88 district, MAP 68, Lot 149, JFK Leaders for the Future applicants, the town of Enfield is the owner. This approval is subject to the conformance with the plan submitted as part of the record and the following conditions, there are four conditions, in a memo dated by Jose Geiner, January 31st, 2013. And uh, you agree with the conditions? Yes. Yes, we're well, good. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Motion's made and seconded. seconded. Any discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed? Unanimous? Thank you again very much for your presentation and good luck with well, your future. Hope to hear, see you back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good Thank job. You. Good, good job. job. Okay, uh, old business, none, new business. SPR 1580, change of use from a vacant office to a personal service, a tattoo parlor at 552 Hazard Avenue, business local, BL District, map 110, lot 350, Jamie Renna, applicant, Kamlish and Rashina Mystery, LLC owners. Uh, will the secretary please, I'm sorry, second vice, please take the roll. Chairman Charles Duran, Here. Vice Chair Elizabeth Ballard, Secretary Peter Falk, Second Vice Chair Kathleen Sarno. Here. Commissioner Lori Longhi. Here. Commissioner Nick Lefakis. Here. Commissioner Charles Ladd. Here. Commissioner Ronald Gregory. Here. Commissioner Alan Drynan. And Commissioner Don Dominic Alimo. Here. Yeah. Okay. Again, uh, Commissioner Gregory will be sitting in for absent Commissioner Falk. Uh, on your desk tonight, you had... Uh, Two items, uh, a receipt uh, from uh, the health department and uh, a letter uh, certifying the inspection or the doctor that will be doing is taking care of the tattoo shop. And uh, you have an okay from the public safety officer, Hazard Fire Department and the Water Pollution Department. Uh, applicants here, if you will give your name and address, please, and explain your uh, your application. Uh, Jamie Renna, 40 Spruceland Road. Uh, the application is to change a vacant office space into a tattoo um, parlor by appointment only. It's not a walk-in tattoo studio. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh, well, so you won't have your office won't be there then. Is that it? Your office is at home. Uh, there's actually two office spaces that I'll be renting out. One space will be kind of an entry area. The second uh, room will be for the, the tattoo procedure itself. Oh, well, no, because you said it was by appointment only. I was just wondering how they got in touch with you. Are you going to be there at 20? Uh, no, uh, basically they, most people have my cell phone number and they get a hold of me that way. Well, that's, uh, that's what I, okay. So then you're not going to have any set hours, basically. You, no, actually, uh, this is uh, a second job hobby for me. Okay. So I do have a nine to five job. So most hours will be uh, six p.m. to nine p.m. on the week that weekdays, uh, and approximately ten to nine p.m. every other weekend. Okay. Okay. So actually, that takes care of general conditions. The hours of operation. Are, if you would repeat that again. Sure. Um, six p.m. to nine p.m. during the weekday. Mm-hmm. And ten a.m to approximately 9 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, every other. Mm -hmm. No, should probably just have not put it Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. I did bring, a, I actually brought a, a, a listing of my open appointments for the months of oh. February and March to kind of give you an understanding of what those hours would be if you'd like me to. No, well, fine. no, no, it's all right, because I don't, you're not in, a, in an area it's sort of it's open fine. out there. And it, yeah. The reason we just put down Saturday and Sunday is in case you change your mind and decide to come an extra Saturday, you can. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's better for you. No sense limiting yeah. you. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, any for, further questions for the general? One quick question, Mr. Chairman. On uh, referring to premise... Does that mean just the location of the tattoo or the whole building that he's in? The premises is the whole building. Okay, maybe he should change the wording. If you're going to be above the package store, it says here no alcohol will be on premise. So I think you change that to mean in your... On the second floor. Second floor, I think you would want. Yeah. Not just the premise would be all the whole building, I think. No? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. You're right. Okay. You're right. Are you referring to the doctor letter? Or are you yeah, uh, letter. yeah, it's on the doctor's letter here. Yeah, I'm there reading. is alcohol in <laughs> there. Yeah, right. So, yeah. I mean, obviously he's aware he came out, so I'm not sure how. I think he intended the premises to mean the just His, his own unit. Well, maybe we should just his put unit. some different wording to it if you want. Put it in it's up to condition, you. that's all. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just this. All right, thank you. Yeah, I add a 11th or, or put it in some place in the number. You can just add that the... Uh, 
Right, yeah, you can put number 11 just saying that premises as, as used by the tattoo. By, by the doctor it refers to the tattooing office only. Are you the only tattooist? Or? Yep, I'm the owner and, okay. and only tattooist. And you'll be the only one doing the? Yes. Notice one good thing, being on the second floor, we don't have to worry about him being seen from the street <laughs> when he's working. <laughs> yeah, I thought that so was... So that's a good thing. Okay. Well, I know there's uh, plenty of parking out there. Yeah. Right, there, was, yeah. there was, was parking. I just had the staircase that goes up to your unit also goes up to the other unit? Sure. Right, yep. okay, that's what I... Now, the two uh, units separated, they, there's locking doors, both yeah, sides? Yeah, they were separate. I saw the doors on there, but yeah. I just thought I asked. Uh, although we don't do signs, you're planning for signs, I uh, hope so. Uh, actually, I have an agreement with the landlord, there'll be no signs. No signs? I was just wondering how you do your advertising. Word of mouth. Uh, I, I, we've put a, an address number on the door, just indicated that 554 is the address um, on the lease, so we put 554 on the door. And a hanging Well, I guess when they make an appointment with you, you tell them how to get there. Yeah, I, I guess. guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, if you, you decide later or some reason signs. you need to change signs, you go up to the Jose's office and work with them. Okay. Okay. Any further questions for the gentleman? No. It's an SPR, so Oh, it's just I'm a site finished. plan. Oh, okay. I can close SPR. Jose, do you have anything? No, it's pretty straightforward, pretty low key. Okay, Personal I'll, service use. Then I'll close SPR 1580. I'll make a motion to waive the full submission requirements of section 9.10.2 because the commission finds that the information is not necessary in order to decide on the application's conformance with these regulations. Second. Motion's made and seconded on the waiver. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous, 700. I'll make a motion to approve SPR number 1580, change of use from a vacant office to personal services, tattooing parlor at 552 Hazard Avenue in a business local district, map 110, lot 350, Jamie Renna applicant, Kamalish and Rashena. Mystery LLC owners, subject to the conformance with the submitted plans and the following conditions. And there were 11 conditions, with the one being added that the premise referred to the tattooing office only. And a memo dated February 1st, 2013, by Jose Geiner. Second. Uh, and I'll ask the applicant, have you read the conditions? I have. Any problems? Problems. And we've put in the hours of operation. operation. Okay. Okay. The motion's made and seconded. Mm -hmm. Any uh, discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed, 700. Good Again, luck. A, good you. luck. I think it's a good location for it. Uh, I hope so. No. <laughs> Better than in your house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, That's moving right. on. Discussion of poultry regulations. Yay. Lori, you're here. It's oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what's the, how's the, how are the chickens coming? Um, Kevin Deneen actually just said tonight that he was going to call me tomorrow regarding it, but that they had moved forward and looked at everything. So he just wanted to go over everything before sending them out to the commission for the next meeting. Okay. So that was good. Does that have to go to Capital Region? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, we get a so when he comes back with them. Yeah. If he gets something that's clean, I'll send yeah. it. I'll start the process. Just get it over for their review, and then we can set a hearing. Yeah. We don't have to wait. For it. Okay. Sure. Wonderful. So that's good. chickens. Maybe the spring we'll have chickens. Uh -huh. Okay. Discussion of land states, uh, landscaping standards for home occupations, and. Uh, okay. I had one comment. Go ahead. On, um, I had brought up at the last meeting, I think it was, that only we were talking about one commercial vehicle maybe kept on the lot. But commercial vehicle does not delineate if somebody puts um, a combination plate on it or a camper trailer plate on it. So I think we should go with one truck, one trailer, if that's what we want, because otherwise Ginny couldn't enforce it. Because if somebody had put combination plates on it, it would not be classified as a commercial vehicle. 
or if they had camper trailer plates on it, it would be, it would kind of bypass and she wouldn't be able to enforce it. Okay, where would you be adding that line? It was on num it was on K number two. Um, we had discussed about one commercial vehicle, but then when I looked up, so what you're the changing, t dropping the word commercial. Yeah. And, and it'll read only one vehicle. One truck, one trailer, because you can't really have it without okay. the trailer. But we don't want one truck, five trailers. <coughs> so that way, it leaves a little flexibility because some people do use combination plates. Okay, only one. Only one truck and one trailer uh -huh. may be kept on a lot. And still subject to the standards of Section 3.30. Yes, which, right. Which governs gross vehicle weight, and, and, right. and they could come in for a special permit. Permit, like if they else needed could, to go with need the commercial. Higher, yeah. uh, it show that they've, <coughs> they could screen it. And also, on that's also shown on L5. Um, Let's change that also. Okay, yep. And I noticed something else, Jose, in the numbering. K went one, two, three, and then five. Yeah, probably. And I just wanted to point that out. So one, two, could. three, five. Well, that's a good way to go. Well, see whether I forgot four or just. <laughs> well, I didn't know. That's why I. Have to I see one of my drafts. Right. <laughs> that's why I just wanted to make just so you, check one you of my were past aware of it. See that there was something I left out. I, I have a question, Jose. Are you done, Lori? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have a question. Um, you know, I'm going. I'm reading the text and this over and everything. But what about? There are people who do this who live in condominiums, and. Are these it's gonna, these are going to apply to that as well? I mean, to the, the association because now you have an association as well that where do they keep their vehicles? Trumps. Well, they have garages. I mean, condos do have garages, so they could keep it in the garage. I mean, no. I think an association trumps any of. Well, we'd still have to register as a home occupation and meet these standards. Whether the association wants to allow it or not, that's up to them. Our regulations can allow something, but the home associate, homeowners association can prohibit it. Okay. Um, obviously, they have their so own. They, have they to set up their both. own internal rules, but yeah. this applies to any residential district. Uh, anyone okay. who has a home. Not. Right. So, but the, so with your, I mean, you then if they lived in a condo, I mean, wouldn't the condo association rules trump the the, yes. uh, the zoning regulations? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they, they, they can't say, well, we're going to allow. We don't want you. We're going to allow three commercial vehicles. Okay. No, couldn't, they couldn't do that. Okay. What about the guy regulation. that just has one truck? And, and I'm, I'm asking this from personal experience. So, you know, I, I mean, um, the, guy, the one guy that just has a truck and, a, and you know, and a, maybe a lawnmower, a sit-down lawnmower or something. I mean. It would fall under that lawn maintenance, and that would be fine. I mean, it's, Okay. It's so that the, it's but he'd the still have to come th register with the town. To, right, as a yes. home occupation, okay, and right. they have to keep it, in, you know, inside. It's either inside the, the, the dwelling or... or, or an accessory structure, so they have to okay. keep it. Point is, you know, I'm sure the, the condo association or apartment building doesn't want to see lawn mowers and and trucks all over the place either. Uh, so it, say it further limited. You know, we, we say here's the rules. There's nothing keeping a homeowners association from being stricter than we are. Okay. Saying, well, we don't want them anyway. Uh, you can't use your property for a home uh, for for for, for, for this type yeah. of for that. occupation. Yeah, and but that, conversely, but that's up, they that's can't up to say. them. We're saying we're going to allow them. If you meet these standards, we'll give you a permit. It's up to you then to make yeah. your peace with the homeowners association. But conversely, the association can't say, okay, you can have two trucks and two trailers. Well, they can't they can, do that. They cannot be less. The, the stricter rule applies. Right, the yeah. stricter rule so applies. So would that be right. the same for a four-family house? Oh, absolutely. Sure. If you had yeah. a four-family, it would be the same way as, as if you were living oh, in a condo. It, well, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, it would be up to the landlord then. But what, could the landlord allow four trailers? No. no. So it'll be one trailer, no matter what. Truck for the property. Right. One per property. Well, let, let me what if there was two tenants that were land, were both in the same business? Then what would you do? One can have a trailer and the other one can't? Yeah, that's true, though, yeah. too. It says, question, uh, yeah. it says only one truck or one trailer may be kept on the lot. So, right, if you have a multi-family, you can. I, I noticed a couple of six families around. You can get two people to do summer landscaping. Yeah, but they one can only have, that's right, but one, one of them can have this material on the property. The other four have to, or three, go elsewhere. You have a six family and you got six trucks and... Well, if you had a four family and you had two two guys doing it, though, so one guy would have to go search to park his truck, right. and the other guy's fine. Right. Yeah. 
except for if it was a pickup. Well, if it was just a regularly registered vehicle, it would be right. fine. No, I mean, if, if they were both in a landscape and business separately, <laughs> and, and they yep. both lived in the same four-family complex. You're not going to... I'm, I'm just saying, what if? Oh, what right. if it's to happen? What right. do you do? They'd have to probably can, come can back Can you give them a waiver to that property waiver, owner or something, and we yes. can allow yeah. it? Okay. okay, that's fine. That would make sense. Just give a waiver. Uh, okay, thank you. And actually, that would be a valid... <laughs> yeah. That would be a valid thing. Reason to waive it, correct. Thank you. ZBA or something, I don't know. Okay. I mean, that would be a hardship, I would think. Anything else on uh, this particular one? Are we way to re ready to go with this? I, I have a question about the specifics on the trailers. Mm -hmm. what, what did we say about that? Were like, they open, we closed? We were talking about length. Length. Uh, Most of them use... You could fit three tractors on some of those gantries. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, we said one truck, one trailer, because we didn't want to have, like, a flatbed trailer and then the box trailer that they have for leaves or whatever. So I think we were just saying one truck, one trailer. I don't know particularly l length. I mean, I know some people have them longer and some, some are, are shorter. Short. Yeah, so would there be, we wouldn't have a limit to that then, as long as it's one single trailer, single trailer and, one and they can have four lawnmowers on yes. that one trailer. Right. Okay. It would be a, a legal trailer. I okay. don't know if there's legalities with okay. lengths of trailers. I don't my, know. my feeling on it is it's probably going to be somebody either young that is doing like a startup business that yeah. wants to mow lawns or maybe somebody retired that wants to mow lawns. They're not really looking to have a ton of equipment, but they just want to uh -huh. do their business. Yeah. But being a neighbor, you don't want to have them have like, you know, a whole fleet of trailers. Which and we've run into. I, yeah. I think the, the, the most complaints is when businesses start becoming, you know, when you start hiring other people. Yeah. They start coming over, they park their cars, they, 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 they meet there. They load up equipment in the morning. And go. And they got right. they start back storing uh, and, uh, fertilizer. They start storing well, all sorts right. of things. And becomes more of a, 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 it tends to grow out of being just mm -hmm. a lawn maintenance to more of a contracting. That's business. right. And that's I, what, And I think that's yeah. when we start getting the complaints. I, well, I we also know. were trying to take care of the guy that wants to just mow lawns. And, right. And the, but then you do have people that start off mowing lawns right. and they end up... Uh, doing about everything and you probably more gasoline storage oil storage more problems yeah i agree but i mean i think it's a good a good thing because there are a lot of little people that are small and they only do like you know 20 lawns mm -hmm. so and and, and, the, and what i usually tell people in home occupations are if we start getting complaints it's probably time to, to look for well a we aren't after the 14 and 15 year old that moves his neighbor lawn either yeah with, with with well, almost like seamlessly with with no if, if we start getting people to complaining in the neighborhood chances are you're probably outgrown a home occupation and should start looking for a rental somewhere right right you know. okay so are we ready to go with that mm -hmm. yeah it looks good I'll, I'll put give it a number and uh and, and send it along to Krog and okay. make the changes we asked them uh a frame signs is next um uh yeah you wanted a clean copy you had already sent it to Krog. uh I, I made the changes that you asked for. Um, I think it was uh, number six uh, VI over there on D. The A-frame sign must be anchored to the ground and appropriately secured against movement from the wind. The, anchor, the anchoring shall not be readily visible. E.g., no concrete blocks or sandbags. I didn't know how to get too specific with that, but I figured it should be some kind of anchoring that's kind of yeah. hidden. And um, I and I think the other one was. That was one of the few changes that we had. The only thing I had was uh, item uh, 11. On, on, um, okay, the, on. the approval it says from the office should it be ZEO because it I doesn't. That, I mean that's consistent with with the with the signage reg the signage stuff all goes through the planning office. Oh, all right, because before you, that's right. It, it always was the plan, and, and, and then we had, Ro actually, Roger did Roger it. Roger did it all, yeah, that's, all right. It was, it was, well, I don't know who's doing it, so it's it was just always the planning. The planning okay. The, and, okay. And the regs, so I just want to make sure we were consistent so with it. Like, It'll be the ZO. <laughs> no, 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 because but, uh, you assign it to who's, who's ever there, right. I know. Okay. 
whoever we have. We'll, and we've been shorthanded up way, there uh, doing you know, it. Like today, I signed off on a home occupation. Okay. Here, so. Okay. so that one is, uh, is that ready to go with you people then, too? Yeah. 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 Looks I good. We, we, yep. I think we've, we've set it for seventh, the seventh, and uh, so we'll wait to hear from Craig. Now, would you uh, have, and I don't know who else, uh, who else in your office yeah. has had work with signs except uh, Jenny, would Barbara? she be available or, or I don't know, Barbara? Can they have some explanation of problems that, that they might have or will have or can imagine with this? Ask, uh, uh, I, I, I will send it. I know I will send it to the chamber just to see. I, I know, I, and, have Jenny look at it. Have Jenny look at it because I, I like Jenny's opinion on it uh, because she's the one that deals with it and knows the ins and outs. From an enforcement point of view, if there's any questions. Right. We don't want to. We want don't want a big mess, and yet we want to help the commercial people out. Mm, I thought it was pretty good. Okay. And again, it was uh, you know basically all the comments that 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 Mr. Turks in is in his. Dominic hasn't said much. I was wondering, does this help you out at yeah, your yeah, plaza? I think it's a good start. Yeah, again, that's why I was wondering. We're probably not perfect, but we could always well, come back and yeah, change. Yeah. And always comes tweak it later. Yeah. Okay. Comes well, there was a problem we didn't notice. And so are we ready to go with this then? Yep. Okay, then let's go with it. Gee. Uh, that takes care of that. And anything else, Jose? No, just 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 a quick question. I had somebody come in. At, you know that the under other business um, late this afternoon, uh, applying for a building permit at, at the water towers, and I don't think it requires any site. It's an existing uh, carrier. They're not putting up any new antennas on the tower. They're going to be reconfiguring their ground. Equipment they're going from a six by six to a nine by eight Just because they have to modernize their equipment. It's all within the existing compound I didn't yes. see a need for them to come in for site plan. I said I think we're pretty busy I said I'll, I'll run it by the Commission, but I intend to sign off just on the building Where is it the, the big blue tower the one yeah, the ones oh. on, on, on Enfield Street? Yeah. It's all within the existing compound. There's already Bigger boxes than they have in there. It won't be seen from anywhere oh, Okay, well, that's minor, okay minor with it. Increase. Okay, uh Chair, take a motion to allow Jose to handle the, that addition. Yeah, I'll make a motion to let Jose handle that administratively. Second. Motion's made, second. In, any discussion? All in favor? That's unanimous. Jose, go to it. Great. Go for it. I think it's a well, major one, impact yeah. on there. No. no. It's all equipment that's modern, I, you know. So it won't be seen. Anything further? Right. Right. That's it. None. Make a motion to adjourn. Motion, motion to adjourn. Yeah. Second. The motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Okay. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen.